And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. It is Sunday, uh, start of a brand new week, and we've got up and down weather coming up this week. Right now, we're looking at your quality Ford Skycam in Cachetta, Louisiana. A lot of dark clouds there. The clouds today were just kind of chunky looking around my house and a torrential downpour early this morning. Uh, got a good southeasterly wind going right now, but no rain at the moment there. But if we take a look at your satellite radar composite, uh, a lot of rain up in the Midwest all the way down into Oklahoma. But look at all the rain that's coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a little disturbance that's going to move up the Texas coast and actually inland over the next 24 to 36 hours. And we will be watching rainfall increasing as we go into your Monday and Tuesday. High pressure will build in behind a cold front, and that leaves us with, looks like, not much rain as we go into your Wednesday and Thursday. There is, for tomorrow, a very marginal, the lowest risk of some heavy rainfall in deep east Texas and in Sabine Parish as well. Uh, Toledo Bend country, but still with that marginal risk, it doesn't look all that bad. As far as your future cast right now, as we go into 11 o'clock this evening, we've got clouds, and that's the way it's going to be for the next couple of days. Clouds overnight and rain during the day. So we don't see much happening at 7 a.m., but a few showers and thunderstorms begin to creep up with that sea breeze, and look at this, again, the southern half of the northwest Louisiana area is going to get some heavy rain by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it's gone. Done deal. But at 7 o'clock, we might see some activity coming into the I-30 corridor. Now, as we go into your 7 a.m., a few showers on Tuesday, and during the day, we may pick up some more thunderstorms in the sub, uh, southern half of the area. But if you look up just above the banner, there is our cold front and low pressure system. The front itself is going to wash out before it gets in here, but take a look at this. There's the front and some good activity across the southern parts of the region going into 6 p.m. There is the front, but it does wash out. However, cold air is going to filter in. That will set up some rainfall and much cooler temperatures as we go into the latter half of the week. You're going to really love this. As we go into Wednesday, 7 p.m., not much in the way of rainfall. As we go into Thursday, 7 a.m., still not much in the way of rainfall at all. So how much rain can we possibly get? Well, it's not a whole lot. Nine-tenths of an inch in Manny. That's including what we got today. 68 hundredths as we go into Natchitoches, further north much less, and only 12 one hundredths, about a tenth of an inch. So this can change. I hope for my yard's sake it does change. But as we go into your Monday and Tuesday, a 60% chance Monday, 70% chance Tuesday, as that system comes in from the north, the cooler air drops us to 87, then around 90, then we go to 90, uh, 89, only a 10% on your Thursday and Friday. But as we get into the weekend, Temperatures drop into the low 80s with good chances of rain on Saturday and Sunday. Keep it here. We'll be right back.